Hi, welcome to 2016. Here's a little bit of New Year cheer still lingering on. Once again, I'm here at the uh, mouth of the Maruchi River in another place, lovely little restaurant here called the, the Boathouse. And uh, we're just outside that under this beautiful um, tree. I'm not quite sure what type it is, but it's got an amazing um, branches and, and uh, leaves. Really, really lovely. This week's blog, I am looking at a um, reviewing a, a talk that was given at a conference that I was just at, and it was given by the president of the International Theosophical Society. And and in this talk, he was talking about the impact that crowding, which is a sociological term for dense populations the impact that crowding was having on spirituality. This whole idea that as much as we become closer in terms of how we live, we actually become more distant. And he talks, in, in his talk he gave several references to, to experiments that were done. One was called The Lost Letter, where um, letters that were addressed were left in strategic places in different forms of dense population, so in cities and country towns. And what was interesting was that the letters that were left in the cities, hardly anything, they never ever reached their destination, whereas nearly all of the letters that were left in the regional areas, in the country towns, always found their destination. And he said, there's this mentality that builds up that it's not my problem. And of course, that's the evidence of the disease, the spiritual disease, because spiritual is when we see that other people's needs and other people's um, um, concerns are our problem. In other words, we have a obligation by virtue of compassion and empathy and awareness to be able to make ourselves available while at the same time being uh, loving towards ourselves, we make ourselves available for other people. So he gives some interesting statistics and, and I share some of those during the course of this blog. And of course, at the end, what we end up doing, uh, what I end up doing in this this particular blog, is is look at what he sees as the cure for this. And and in fact, what he talks about is the whole notion that we have to become mindful or aware of our thoughts. So these are the thoughts that we have for ourselves. These are the thoughts, in terms of how our thoughts are impressed by media, how our thoughts are reflected in the pool of thinking, in other words, the people that we have in our lives, the communities that we live in, and he says we can take responsibility for that um, because, in fact, it's our degree of mindfulness that becomes a reflection of our spirituality. I hope you find this of interest. I enjoyed it. I, I really found it refreshing to see somebody taking um, spirituality from this perspective. Um, the fact is, is that uh, over 75% of the population now live in dense um, communities, um, what they call crowding, and we can see the evidence of people becoming more and more, and he calls it an epidemic of loneliness, essentially, or, or the heresy of separation. We see this happening more and more, that even though we're living in these really dense populations, people are lonelier, and, and people are experiencing and suffering the diseases of loneliness. Anyway, I hope you find it interesting. We've got some interesting um, blogs that will be coming up over the next few weeks. Next week I want to have a look at the supermarket of spirituality. This whole idea that we now have this plethora of stuff out there that we can, that we can like a supermarket, go in and go, I'll have this, I'll have this and I'll have this, but not all of it's good for us and I want to spend some time having a look at that uh, next time. Anyway, welcome to this new series of blogs for 2016, and I'll speak to you next time. Bye.